Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Press Persons Rule One. My name is Chris, and today joining me we have Keelan, and we're going to be watching some Kyle Duggar tape you guys. Duggar, Duggar. I never really did learn how to say it. I think it's Duggar. Yeah, I think it's Duggar. So uh, he is a sixth-year senior, very rare, out of Lenore Ryan. Let's see, officially as a senior bowl at six foot and a half to seventeen with twenty eight inch hands and thirty two and three quarter inch arms with a seventy eight inch wingspan. Your thoughts on his measurables? Um pretty good for a safety like especially for someone like more rangy and less I don't know, in the box that's a good size for me. Cool. Uh, so, he is a sixth-year senior, so he did have a medical register at one point in his career. That would be in 2016, four years ago. So, not really too concerned about the long-term impacts. So he's obviously since then recovered and, and overcome that. Uh, but, uh, he has played in quite a bit of games over the course of the other five seasons, four seasons. So... Really nice to see him there. Uh, but we have two games of his versus Mars Hill and Tusculum. That's pretty cool. Small school guy. Oh wow, that's actually really long. Okay. Level of competition is definitely something that will be a factor in this. Um, Something to keep in mind, especially after we just watched Jeff Gladney play pretty good schools. There's two teams that were ranked in the top 25 at a time. Okay, has a little bit of experience in man coverage, which is nice to see. Oh, okay. Nice aggressiveness downhill in the lane. Oh my. Boom! He just destroyed that blocker. change the direction. Okay. Pursuit speed. Uh. Not elite elite. Okay, they do have him playing deep over the top. Oh, that was him that made the play. Okay. So you do get to see a little bit of the ranging, yes. Look downhill. Getting single high over the top. Playing him as the long deep defender.
Okay, that was nice. I like his uh, ability to read uh, that uh, corner route, I'm going to call it. Nice patience on that dig. Again, really nice patience reading that tight end route. Okay, cover two look. I'm down a little bit. Here we go. Okay, playing him at free. Robert Luck. So you're seeing him in all different types of roles already, which is really nice to see. We just saw him as the robber. We've seen him in the single high deep. We've seen him in cover two looks. And we also seen him in man coverage against receivers and tight ends, which is nice. We've seen him in the slot. So the versatility alignment is there, which is good to see. He's experiencing a large variety of roles, so a little bit less of a uh, adjustment in that particular area uh, when he goes to the NFL. Cover two, nope, cover three. Cover three, look again. Okay, single high. So yeah, we're seeing him, all different types of alignments in coverage variations. Cover four, look. Same thing, some variation of cover four. I'd like to see him be a little bit tighter on this tackle. I don't even, I think he's just straight up missed. I think it was the other guy who actually made the play. Yeah, he used to lift on that tackle. So, tagging is someplace I'd like to see him improve a little bit more. Okay, good communication. Like that all man. Nice pass break. Oh, nope, never mind. I was about to see a nice pass break up by Yang actually. I like the route and the angle, but and I'm missing the ball. I like that break. That was a nice break step. Ended up resulting in a pass breakup as well. He's doing a pretty nice job in terms of blowing up blocks, though, which is nice. And you see you got in there. Just really wanting to see him work on that tackling. I think oh. I like him so far more as, like, a, a slot corner rather than a safety. I feel like he has the range to play over-the-top safety, like coverage safety. But, yeah, I... I'm not really seeing him as a safety linebacker dash box safety type of. That was a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You want him as a as a passing down safety. Well, I mean, he can make, come down and make plays, blowing up blocks and stuff. But 
I he, he can't tackle worth a damn yeah, right now. I don't, I don't think I was tackling yet. Read that. Like even there, he didn't even force the guy out. That was nice. He can hit, he just does not tackle. Reminds me of when I play as a DB in Madden. I always whiff on the tackles. <laughs> Yeah, I like his pre strings and covers. He's got a variety of rolls over the top. Single high, double high. Triple. Another missed tackle. Oh. Mm. I'm not going to a little bit of help. Another missed tackle. What is that? Five, six? I don't even know. I've lost count. That was nice for me in the field. I'd be curious who he would say. I'm sure he's going to get this question next, well, let's just say this week uh, in Indy. I'm curious who he would say is the most difficult opponent he played against. Yeah, I, I don't. This is what, Division 3? I think Division 2, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you're right. Division 2. I thought I heard someone was Division 3, but obviously I was wrong. But yeah, another play he probably can make. So, <laughs> really just... It's easy to see why he's a third rounder, because he has the coverage potential. He's played man, he's played 1, he's played 2, he's played 3, he's played 4. I'm sure he's played 6. Uh, so I'm not really worried about I've, I've seen him play robber so yeah I'm not at all really worried about his coverage but man you really gotta be able to tackle especially if you're gonna be a special teamer yeah to really be the quality of safety I want and expect out of him so your thoughts to the first game I feel like we both went off on our thoughts during the game, but to reiterate, the guy can't tackle. He's, I, I just, I like him in coverage a lot. I just, I don't, I don't trust him against the run. Uh, he's good coverage safety. He's, he could be good in the slot. But against the run, I just don't trust him. At least, yeah, until he proves me otherwise. I don't remember seeing this game. Very interesting colors. No, he is destroyed. I get that this is D2. But, like, he just destroyed that blocker. Holy crap. He did that a couple times in the Marshall game, too. He's strong. I'll give him that. He, he overpowers blockers, which I love. Nice read. Is that him who got the pick or 
Or, that was that wasn't even a pick. I was um totally distracted. My fault. I see. Okay, my bad. These Division Two jerseys are throwing me off. Clearly. The uh, Muskellum ones kind of look, or Tuskellum, I mean, uh, ones kind of look a little bit like Oklahoma State. Yeah. These white ones, or the... The black and orange. The white, or the Lenore Ryan, or whatever, they kind of look South Carolina-esque. True. That was yeah. nice to provide the receiver. Yeah, he has the physical tools. I'd like to see him flip a little bit quicker. Also. Okay, some variation of one. Okay, I like his ball tracking. Start bringing them. Again, same thing. He's not doing bad with these rigs, and I like his aggressiveness coming downhill. But, like, he just got completely ankle broken. I love these little ads on the bottom. Okay, nice job staying in face. He's doing a pretty good job in coverage. Oh. I'm not really sure if I like him in the slot as much, because for that you would need your footwork. You need to prove you can play in press. All those types of things, so I'm not really sure about his transitioning to a press corner. And that's by extension, I'm not sure he could bring a device either. But I wouldn't hate him as an alley safety. as a cover safety. Much better in off than hard coverage. That's kind of the point I'm really making. Yeah. Oh, the other day didn't transition. What's up with that? 43 didn't come across underneath. That's on the... That's on 43. So, overall, your thoughts on the shootings we have on Duggar? Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not sure how to completely feel. His coverage is nice. 
His physicality is nice. His tackling and that is leaves a lot to be desired. So I'm not sure how I entirely feel about him. But it, he's a very interesting prospect who has some a lot of potential in my opinion. Nice. So I did watch the Mars Hill game before when that was the only game out. Uh, so some of these are definitely going to change. <laughs> I probably should delete that beforehand, but oh well. Uh, so here's what I had on him before, and yeah, that's definitely not true. Okay. Uh-huh. That's why I do rewatches. So, um, these are all out of 20. Normally, I do out of 10, I do a 10 by 10, but for safeties, I only have 5 skills. So, these are all out of 20. And... I'm going to go with a 10 for tackling. A... Go with 15 for man. 18. I'll even go 19 for zone. I feel like he has pretty good zone coverage and disciplining his zones. Athleticism is probably like a 17 ish and intangibles. I'll go with 19. Cool. Oh, actually, I'm going to take another one off for a small small. So 18. Uh, so, I'll let you give your thoughts while I calculate my score. Cool. Um, honestly, I forgot about the part where you said it was at a 20, and I heard the 10 for tackling, and I was confused, but then we're good. <laughs> I agree for the most part. I I think it's fair... Anything you purchase that particularly stands out? Any categories that I don't cover here that you think uh, you want to talk about? Um, just looking. I feel like what what was I trying to say here? Sorry. There's nothing to point out. What is, like, what round grade does, what, you gave him a 79, is that correct? Yep. What round grade is that for you? I think that's early four. That's, that's fair for him, I think. I think he's, I'd like him a fourth round. Especially for his upside and coverage, I think fourth round's pretty nice for him. Fifth. Very high. Oh, wait, no. 79? Third. Third. Cool. That could be yellow. Which I think is where I took him in my lines mock. I think that's what it is, too. So, on that note... Uh, do you think that he's a fit for the Lions going forward and that he should be a target for Bob Queen and Matt Patricia in his coming draft? Uh, I mean, the amount of Lions games that I watched last year were um, very few, so I feel like you'd know better about the fit than I would, but... I know, he's not someone I'd want to be starting day one, but he could be someone that could, we could grow and develop. Fair. So, yeah, we have uh, Tracy, obviously, and Will Harris, who we also took last year, out of Boston College. If we were to take Duggar, he would probably be competing for safety for CJ Moore, or possibly safety three based on where he's drafted and the potential to improve him right away and get him up to uh, the same that we need and expect him to be at. So uh, it's possible that he could be a safety three for us. 
behind Harris and Tracy. Uh, but with Walker being that lane guy, uh, Harris being your man cover guy against the tight ends and possibly running backs, uh, Duggar could pr most likely be your over the top single high type of guy there and potentially play in those flat zones, in those zone coverage looks. So that will most likely be his role here if Lions were to end up taking him in the series draft. Anything else Fair. you want to highlight before uh, we finish this one? Um, I get... I gave him a 76, which is fourth round for me. Just wanted to add that. Nice. Yeah. Anything that you were lower in than I was? Or higher in? Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at yours again. Hold up. Well, our, um. The way we grade it is a bit different, but like looking at that, ours are relatively similar. Fair enough. Anything else you want to highlight or point out or anything like that? He's another guy. I'm I'm curious to see how he tests at the combine. Yeah. True. It's. It's hard to, like, gauge his, you know, his speed and his Athletic ability. agilities, yeah. So, I'm curious to see how he does and, and how he, he measures as well. Cool. Well, yeah, he's definitely someone to pay attention to going forward from a athleticism standpoint. So I'll be keeping my eye on at the combine this week in Indy. Uh, but overall, definitely feel like he has the physical tools uh, and just needs to really improve that tackling. Because if you even give him like average tackling grade, like a 10 out of 20 is like a 50, basically, if everything's the same. That's like almost undraftable for me. That's like seventh round. Yeah. Grade. So if he doesn't have, like, 7th round tackling, even if you bump him up to, like, a 15, like, a 3rd round tackling grade, that's plus 5. That's a border, that's a high 2nd instead mm -hmm. of a mid 3rd-ish. So uh, that would help him out a lot, uh, just getting up to that average kind of tackling mark. So uh, that would be the one area that I really, really want to see him improve on most, uh, at least for me personally. And it's all about just making sure you have the fundamentals, right? Like, it's mm -hmm. not going to be the aggressiveness and the angles and the block shutting in those areas. That's how I gave him as high as a 10, to be honest. Uh, is, is so much as it is the actual wrapping up, bringing the guy down, finishing the play, not missing, taking better angles, things like that. Because he has the aggressiveness, he has the willingness, he has the hit, the power, the strength to be able to. In all those areas, he's just actually wrapping up and making a tackle. Uh, that is the part you really want to see the most improvement. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, learned a thing or two along the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this over the course of the next coming days, weeks, and months. As we're heading to come by pro days and beyond. Have, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and for now, peace out.